Coach Jones talked about with the injury to Shy Tuttle, maybe going to a possible three down lineman front. How viable is that of an option? Um, you know, that's that's really hard to do at this juncture to, to translate that. Um, we are we do have some three down things, you know, in our in our system and in our package, but we're primarily using those on, on third down uh, to go to a you know a first and second down mentality with that would be really hard to do. Um, like saw, Justin Martin got some significant action in the second half here that just how big is this you know kind of two weeks for him as far as really getting him ready. Yeah that's that's huge for Justin to get out there, get some fundamental work in, you know, watch the film to go out now and make corrections with his techniques and fundamentals, that's, that's, that's big for him. With Khalil McKenzie, what have you seen? Why, why has he been able to just to really come on these last two weeks? Is it the opponent that you're playing, that they're playing a little bit more traditional, or is it just that he's starting to find things slowing down for him? No, I think it's just him improving. You know, he came in, he's a, a true freshman. Um, you know, the fundamentals and techniques and things that we're trying to teach him takes a minute to learn. Um, but he's certainly a, a talented young man, and I'm, I'm proud of the progress he's been able to make. And then with Shy going down, how do you, I guess, is it four guys now instead of five, or can you, how do you try? Yeah, well, we would pull Quay up to be the uh, fifth uh, defensive tackle, but, um, you know, there's really no moves that we can, we can make uh, at this point other than maybe grabbing an offensive lineman, um, which that would be hard to do. Um, we just got to make sure we keep those guys healthy and, can continue to battle. Is Charles Mosley out or not an option? Um, I wouldn't say so right now. No, I mean um, we've we've had this conversation. Um, you know, we're just keep hurting guys. You know, that's that's part of college football. You got to have depth. You got to have players that can rotate in. So um, we've got five. Um, if something happens to someone else, and you know, we'll have to have those conversations at a later date. How ready is Quay? I mean, what? How oh, Quay's a, Quay's a long ways away, you know. Um, he would just be an emergency guy right now. We'll, we'll rotate four, um, you know, pretty steadily and, you know, go with that. Coach, how, how, how close is Justin to really pushing you know, to be in there? How much confidence do you guys have in him? You know, Justin's a spot guy right now, putting him in, uh, letting him gain some experience. Um, you know, he's, um, he's making progress. It's still, uh, I wouldn't say he's ready to start at this point, but he's, he's getting better each and every day. John, what are you guys trying to find answers in terms of getting a pass rush and more consistent pressure? And, and obviously not having Kurtz yeah. is a big part of that, but is there any other ways that yeah, you just get, pressure? Well, you just got to continue to work your, you know, your fundamentals and your techniques. Um, you know, on third down, I don't know if you, you noticed in the Georgia game, we, I mean, we brought pressure with the first three third downs. And then on the fourth one, uh, you know, they, they, they hit the screen on us. Um, so it's going to be a balancing act of, you know, impacting the quarterback, you know. Um, we don't have a great pass rush uh, with our four down right now. We know that, so we're going to have to find different ways to impact the quarterback, uh, you know, with some different coverages and, and things of that nature, and mixing in blitzes and, and different things uh, that you're playing behind the pressures uh, to try and impact him. Um, you can't just, you know, blitz every single down or else, you, you know, they just they start screening you and doing those things. So um, it's just a balancing act. You know, each week is going to be a little bit different based on our opponent. But um, that's that's what we do as coaches. We, f we put together together the best game plan that we possibly can based on our circumstances. The team's been giving it Derek more attention and trying to you know test the other guys to beat them, or is, is Derek maybe not 100 percent? Kind of what's um, yeah, Derek hasn't been 100 percent. You know, he had a shoulder, um, and then he. And, you know, he had a knee injury. Came out of the, the Florida game with, uh, braced him up, got him back in there. Um, but he overall has just been banged up, and he just plays a ton of snaps for us. You know, um, and that's that's just what it is right now for us. How has Madero played for us so far this year? What has it meant for y'all secondary, just from an emotional standpoint, to have him back? Yeah, I know the guys are really excited that Madero is able to come back and play, and uh, certainly uh, he's a physical presence back there. You know, when the when the ball. Uh, gets run uh, first and second down. He's a guy that will put his pads on you. Um, he's done a couple good things in the high hole. Uh, just got to continue to work on him making plays in space. He says he's kind of been working on his form with his tackling. That Maybe that's kind of affected him in some ways. Have you noticed that at all? Or um, No, really. Yesterday was a day um, I thought he made good progress You know, with the fundamentals of tackling. We had several reps of you know, putting our pads on a live body, which you know, helps. Obviously, when you work on it and you demand it, uh, the players will get better.
I was going to ask, how, how tough is that balance in working on tackling at practice and being physical with all the injuries and, and kind of banged up guys? Yeah, that, that is a balancing act, uh, you know, but this week we, re we really just dedicated ourselves to, to working on the tackling portion of it and uh, taking guys to the ground and, and you got to do it or you're never going to get better at it. And that's, that's the thing that you, that's the balancing act that you're talking about. Um, you know, I choose to, to work on it and, and to get better at it. Um, but you can't beat them up, you know. Obviously, with this being a bye week, they'll have time to rest and heal at the end of the week. And um, then when we come back, we'll we'll continue to to work on our game plan, you know, working into the Alabama game. Did you guys practice uh, tackle better against Georgia than you did against Arkansas? I, yeah, we did. There was a couple, you know, the, when you have to make an open field tackle, that is that's the most challenging tackle that there is. Um, but I thought overall, yes, we did improve our tackling. You feel like it's kind of. Where can I get a break after Alex Collins? And then you get Sonny Michelle last week. Now you have Derrick Henry, Kenyon Drake, and all these running backs you face in this league. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's our conference. You know, that, that's week in and week out, and um, that's just part of uh, being in the SEC. What do, what do you think about their backfield at Alabama? Have you started preparing for them specifically, or just uh, internally right now? With yeah, no, we've obviously been able to watch film on them. I think they have uh, Henry, who's a big, powerful back. Um, you know, he's always moving the pile. He's always going forward. He runs physical. Uh, he's really good in pass protection. He's a big body back there. And then Drake is is really a, a great compliment to him. He's a shiftier, quicker back, uh, can get in and out of cuts. Um, so they have a great compliment back there in, in Drake and, and also Henry. They seem to be high on Calvin Ridley. I know he's had a couple of breakout games already. Yeah. What, what do you see out of him? Oh, he's extremely talented, extremely fast, in and out of breaks, uh, has good ball skills, competitive plays with energy so yeah he's really good what do you think justin's greatest strength at cornerback is i think his greatest strength is his, his length you know he's a tall corner um plays that he's able to make because he's he's taller um are at an advantage for him out there on the on the outside so uh, he's got to continue to work on his technique he's got to have another uh, great off season of of you know lifting and developing his body um, but right now, the main focus is really on his technique and just where, he, where he's putting his eyes, all those kinds of things. How helpful is it to have